Hi guys and welcome to this tutorial on how to create a trust family. For this demonstration we want to create a flink trust which we have a picture of right here. And this beam spanning in the bottom, this is what we call the bottom cord. And we have the top cord up here and again on the other side. And for this demonstration we want to add an overhang on each side of the truss and also we want to add the web spanning from the top cord to the bottom cord and then from the bottom cord to the peak of the truss. But in order to do this we need to open Revit. To create the new family we need to um, select new on the families and now we want to select the template called matrix structural framing complex and trusses and say open to this and the first thing we want to do is to go to the front elevation and now we want to add some reference plans so this is the center line and now we want to add the uh, two reference plans on each side of the center line so we will go to the create ribbon and select the reference plan and now we can just draw two reference plans and the distance from the center line to the reference plan and also the distance between the two reference plans um, you can just place them and then we will change the distance afterwards so just like this and the distance that we have between the two reference plans right here will illustrate the um, overhang and also on the other side. So in order to control the, the overhang we will add a dimension. So we'll just select the dimension and put in a measure and do the same on the other side and then hit escape. And now I want to add a parameter for this uh, dimension right here. So I will select the dimension and under label I will select add parameter and this parameter I will give the name of, um, let me call it overhang left and say OK to this and now I want to lock the dimension to this parameter and I will do the same on the right side select the dimension and then add the parameter call it overhang right and again I want to lock it to the parameter so now we can test if it's actually working now we have added the parameter so if we go to the family types and let's try for example I have the overhang left if I type in a new dimension let's try with uh, 400 hit apply now we can see that it has actually changed and let me just try with another dimension 500 millimeters Again, we can see it's now changing. Let's try the other one. Type in 500. And now this one is also changing. So just say OK to this. And now we want to add a dimension spanning from this reference plan to the center line and then from the center line to the reference plan right here. So again, select the dimension and start to measure. And in this case, we want to have them placed equally around the center line. So I'll just click on IQ. And now I just want to have a dimension for the overall span. Now we'll hit escape and select the dimension. And we want to add a parameter. And this one we could call bottom cord span. and say OK to this and again we want to lock it to the parameter let's see if it's working again select the family type and if we type in for example 4000 millimeters let me just zoom out it's working quite well and let's try with 5000 hit apply and it's working well so um, 
Let's put in 4000 again and say OK. And now we just want to extend the center line a bit. So here we go. The next thing we want to do is to add a reference line spanning from this intersection right here and then to the center line and again do the same on the other side. So go to the create ribbon and this time we want to select the reference line and we want to place it from the intersection right here and then to the center line and now we want to lock it and I will just hit escape. So now I have locked the the reference line to this reference plan right here and also to the reference plan which is the center line but I also want to lock it to the reference line in the bottom so I can use the align tool and select the reference line here and now I want to select the point where it's actually uh, connecting so I will use the tab key and now I can select this point and I will lock it to this um, reference plan and I will do the same on the other side so select the reference line and just place it here and I want to lock it to the bottom reference line so I'll click on the lock and do the same with the center line and now this time I want to align it with the reference plan which we have right here so select the align tool, select the reference line and use the tab key until you get this small dot right here. Select it and now you want to lock it. And just modify and now we want to add another parameter for the slope of the of the truss. So in here we can select the angular dimension and put in a dimension from this place right here. Let's just place it and do the same on the other side. And again we want to add a parameter to this dimension so just select one of them and on the label put in add parameter and this one we can call slope and say ok to this and now select the other dimension and just place it in the same slope and let's try to see if it's working go to family type and if we type in for example 25 degrees it's working well and 40 degrees 45 so this is working quite well so now we'll just put it back to 25 degrees and say OK. And now the next part we want to do is to add another reference plan which will illustrate the top of the bottom chord. So we will go to the create ribbon, select reference plan and just put a plan right here. And now I want to add a dimension spanning from the bottom of the bottom chord and then till the top of the bottom chord. So select the dimension and place it here. And again select the dimension and again we want to add a parameter. It could be called bottom chord height. And say OK to this. And again we want to lock it to this parameter. And let's see if it's working. Let me try 150, hit apply. And 200. Yeah, so this is working well. Just put it back to 150, apply and OK. And now the next step is to place the web. So we need to um, place some reference plans. And if I just open the picture again, so now we want to place a reference plan at this point right here. So this will be the starting point of the web. And also I will place a reference plan 
down here, so this will be the bottom of the, of the web. So again, go to the Create ribbon and select the reference plan. And just place two reference plans, and again, the distance we will change uh, later. Just like this. So let's say, if I just open the picture again, that the distance from this um, reference line and then till the edge of the bottom chord, let's say this is um, one fourth of the overall span, then I can add a dimension from this reference plan to this reference plan. and I will just select the dimension and I will add a parameter and this one I can call one fourth and it will be one fourth of the bottom chord span and say OK to this and now I want to lock it to this uh, parameter And now we want to add a formula in order to um, to make it follow the bot bottom chord span. So if we go to the family type, and now we can see we have the one fourth fourth chord bottom chord span. And the formula for this will be the bottom chord span divided by four. So we'll just type in bottom chord span. and we want to divide it by 4 let's say apply so now we can see that it's now 1000 and if we change the dimension of the bottom chord span let's write it 5000 hit apply then we can see that the bottom chord span is also following along so just say ok to this and we will add the same dimensions on the other side so again go to the so let's go to the annotate and select the align and just select the two reference plans hit escape and now select the dimension and then place it or add the parameter so now they are following along we will do the same with this uh, reference plan right here so we'll just add the dimension spanning from here to there And let's say this reference plan has to be placed one third of the um, overall span of the bottom chord. So again, we will select the dimension and we will add the label or add the parameter. This one we can call one third bottom chord span and say OK to this. And again, we want to lock it to the parameter. And now we want to add the formula. So we have the one third bottom chord span. So again, type in bottom chord span divided by, this time it will be three. And say apply and OK. And we will do the same on the other side. Oops. from this part to here now select the dimension and place it in the one third bottom chord span and let's just test if it's all working um, let's try to change the bottom chord span to 4000 hit apply and we can now see that the other parameters are following along So if I just make the dimension a bit smaller here, or move it down, so the next thing we want to do is to add the web spanning from the top chord to the bottom chord and then up to the peak of the truss. So if we go to the create ribbon, and this time we want to select the reference line, 
and we want to start it from uh, the top chord and then we want to select it at the bottom chord right here and now we want to lock it to the reference plan right here so we'll click on the lock and also we want to lock it to this part right here to the top chord so what we can do is use the align tool and then select the top chord and if I just zoom in and now I can use the tab key till I actually get this small dot and now I'm able to lock it to this um, top chord let me see, now I just guess it get this warning that um, yeah, we already have some um, constraints to this so I'm not able to lock it so just cancel this and now we can add the next reference line and this one will span from the bottom chord and then to the peak of the truss and in this case we can see that we have now so many constraints for this uh, family that it will lock automatically and I will just do the same on the other side I just want to lock it to this reference line right here and just hit escape and then I can continue like this So let's just test if it's all working. If I go to the family type and if I, for example, type in 45 degrees, hit apply, we can now see that the chord is following along. Let me just put in 20 degrees. It's working quite well. 10 degrees. But the next step is to add um, the actually truss and this I will show in another video.